After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. <laughs> We got a call saying we have a code five uh, has probably slipped her cup, so we'll see. Anna, I'm talking to you for a second, okay? Sir, I can't uh, hold on. I'm, this. Okay, can you oh. ask me No, first? I'm speaking first. You're in jail. Are you intoxicated? Yeah, I here's like the deal. to drink, but I'm not drunk. Okay, here's the deal. Sir, I just Okay, so here's, are you going to follow instructions? Are you going to follow instructions? So no, but so are you so able to no. come back and take the Uh, no, she's not listening. She said, no, I'm not going to follow instructions. I'm not getting arrested. I'm not going to So we're going to the so, chair? Yeah, we're going to the chair. She's drunk. All the she gets. The man attacked me when I was inside my room, OK? This is against my legal rights. I have nothing on me. You're not stripping me in front of a bunch of men. Yeah. What the hell? I'm not taking off my shoes. Why are you doing this? Everyone who comes to jail does this. Sir, why do I have to go to jail? Honestly. What? We're, we just discussed that. I just that. wanted to go home. No. I've been attacked by a male officer without the presence of a female. She has, she has, I want... Why would you pat me? I didn't do anything. What the hell? Ow, 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 ow. You're making it tighter, you son of a bitch. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ow, 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 ow. Are you trying to cut off my wrist? the choice you made. I do not That's why my choice. sergeant talked to you. Made for me. So in a bit, off. we'll come back and talk to you and see if you changed your mind. I already have cuffs on, and I can't move my wrist, and I can't breathe. Are you kidding me right now? Why is she in here? Um, started as a basic trespass at a hotel. Um, she paid with a fraudulent credit card. Security wanted her out. She wouldn't come out. She opened the door, and I was there and just wanted to fight. She tried to fight you? Yeah, the fight was on for a couple minutes. Uh, wow. Took her into custody, and she wanted to fight the whole way here. So what kind of charges is she going to be in here for? Uh, she'll be looking at battery on a protected person, resisting arrest, and obstructing. Anna. Yes? I'm going to take this off, but don't Thank spit, you. OK? I just want to talk to you for a second. OK. Oh, god. Ah. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Do you realize why you're in this chair, Anna? Yeah, because I was a real jerk. Have you been drinking? I had been. Yeah. Do you remember fighting with the officer that arrested you? Yes. Yeah? Vaguely. It was so stupid. Yeah, he said you fought good. He said you fought. You guys fought for a couple minutes. He was trying to. <laughs> I was in the military when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. All right. I'm glad you, you're, you know, Probably you're out. different. <laughs> yeah, your attitude's different. That's going to help out in a little bit. We'll take you out. OK, and then what do I have to do after that? Well, I'm going to have you continue your process. I'll give you a copy of your charges. You got just misdemeanors, OK? Remember how I told you if yes, you were cool? So are you going to be able to sit out here with everybody else? Yes, All you got to do is just sit there, stay quiet. Put your feet down. There we go. Watch your head. She said she's going to go along with the program, get her process going. And she looks like she's complying very well. So we'll see where it goes from here. A lot of people don't get out of that chair. They usually go to a side cell. But she'll sit in the other room with everybody. This next room, you're going to sit in the back row, OK, with all the girls. Can I have some water, please? Back row. Have a seat right here on the end. So you know what? You're a totally different girl than the one we uh, 
pulled out of the car there. Thank you. That's the race. Hopefully we don't see you in here again. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> I never want to be in that chair again. It felt like the electric chair, to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah, they're not made for comfort. Yes. <laughs> I'll just think about the think chair. The chair. <laughs> the chair. The chair. <laughs> yes. All right. Hopefully we won't see her again for real. Right. I really don't think we'll see her again. I think that really is something that was life changing for her. So hopefully we're not wrong about that. You get arrested for? Oi, they. <laughs> Prostitution. What made you go out today for the first time and decide you wanted to solicit? I heard it was easy money, and some girl I met was like, you got it. And I was like, I got this. And did you Never make any money? Never listen to randoms, ever. <laughs> did you make any money? No, sadly not. Not even a penny? My first car, and I was like, Oi, they. You should probably not try it again. I think I'm just going to stick to retail jobs. Yes, that's a good idea. All right, step on over here for me. You want to tell us how they caught you? I got into a car because he had a really cool accent. He had a cool accent? Yeah. What kind of accent do you know? A really big. He's really cool. He was a good actor. That guy that brought you in here? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, head through the doorway, third row, right hand side, okay? Have a seat. I guess you probably didn't realize that these officers are good at their job, and I think she underestimated how easy it was to get caught out there on the strip doing what she was doing. When's the last time you were here? Um, about a month ago. A month ago? Maybe. Around. You're here for trespassing, solicitation? Solicitation. Mm -hmm. How long you been doing that? Too long. Too well, long? No, I was, I was uh, had my record was clean for 10 years. How do you keep getting caught? Well, there's too many of y'all out there. Too many of us? Plus, I forgot what I was doing when I was out there before. Forgot your game? Yeah. Well, yeah. Did you have a little... For 10 years. Did you have a little secret to know um, if they were cops? They can't kiss you. They can't kiss you? They can do everything else, but they can't kiss you. So if you ask him to kiss you and he says no, then you know he's a cop? Yep. But did you talk about money? No, he did. You did? Yeah. Tell me to kiss you. Oh. No, kiss you on. Oh, my gosh. All right, go out there and see medical. Third row. Yeah. Just wanted some money to eat and ran into vice. Guess what? You're both here for the same thing. But it's your first time. Yes, my first and hopefully last time. And it's ever. not her first time. How many no. times have you been here? Too many times to count. And you never learn. Like I want to be done. What's well, good? You just don't want to be out there, baby girl. Please don't go out there. This is my last, first and last time. Because I'm sitting here like I could have been in bed reading my book. Rosalinda, when you went out tonight, were you looking to play the game or? I was yeah. looking to just see like what the big deal was, I guess. About soliciting? Yeah, because everybody's like, it's fast money, boot they boo this and that, and I'm like. Fast money? Does your friend that you live with do this? No, okay. she would kill me if she found out I was doing this. Rhonda, what made yeah. you do it the first time? What made me do it the first time? My boyfriend. He made you do it? At the time. Yeah. So-called boyfriend pill. Yeah. So now I hope you have your taste of it, and that's all you're gonna do. Yeah, I really don't want to do this tomorrow. It's not a good look for you, the chains. It's not. It's not a good look for you. Go home. Could yeah. you go back home? I kind of had to pick between boyfriend or family, and I went the stupid route, and it bit me in the ass. So you don't think your family would forgive you and want you back? No, they told me they don't forgive you. No. no, they will. Be honest with them. Let them know what you did and say, can I please come home? I don't want to be out here. Don't let your pride get in the way. Tell them you're sorry that you want to come home. Rhonda, I really appreciate you talking to her for, for me, okay? That was awesome. Not a lot of people would do that in here. Appreciate it. Well, somebody's got to. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll check on you in a little bit, okay? You mentioned something to me, and I just wanted to make sure I had it clear. You know, she started crying, and she told me that this pimp pulled her out. She didn't want to go out there, but this pimp pulled her out, and she's got marks on her neck. So she already has she been... She told me not to tell nobody, but I had to tell you. So she's already been picked up by a pimp. That hurt my heart when she said that. Yeah. She's going to go right back out there. Yeah. 
I may notice those, and I may ask her how she got them. Okay, but I'm not going to rat you out, okay? All right, Rhonda, thank you. Rosalinda? Right over here. He's going to take your picture. We have to move your hair out of the way. Move it out of the way. What are these marks? Is that marks right here? Let me see. That's marks. Has somebody been strangling you? Mm. What is that? It looks like a scratch or something. What happened? You can tell me. Nothing. Are you working for a pimp? No, God, no. Are you not sure? Yes. I'm not. I'm not saying it would make you low. I'm no. saying it was a, you're an inexperienced 22-year-old girl. I sure hope you're not. Okay, you've been charged with soliciting prostitution. Your bill is a thousand dollars. Oh my God! This is yours. Keep it. This is your first time here, yes? Yeah. Okay. Good luck to you, young lady. And Rosalinda, get away from that pimp. It's so not worth it. I can tell by the way you're looking at me that I'm right. All right. Go grab a seat. First couple row. Go sit with Rhonda. She's right there. Hopefully, I got the message through to her. Go back home. Go to school. Do what she do. What normal 22-year-olds do. What a shame. What a mess I got myself into. Why'd you get arrested, man? Um, because... Well, my mom was uh, kicking me out, and I don't want to go, so... Oh, yeah? How old are you? Uh, 20. You ever thought about going in the military? Uh, yeah, I tried joining the Army. They oh, did you? They wouldn't uh, take me because uh, uh, I'm chemically dependent. On what? Uh, heroin. Oh, yeah? You ever tried to detox? Uh, yeah. Well, we were planning on going to rehab. I've been struggling with it since I was 12. Really? Yeah. Man, that's a young age. Yeah, I know. Come on this way, sir. And that's a tough one to get off, man. You got to be really strong, you know? Yeah. Will, you got to have a strong-willed mind to, to really just cut it. Oh, yeah, it's bad. Go ahead, have a seat number two, man, and wait for the nurse to call you up. Thank you. He's got eight years of heroin use under his belt already. It's going to take him a while to beat that demon. He's coming in. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I want to come to the No, that is not true. Don't touch me like that, please. Do not search. touch me like that. That is so rare. Really? Don't touch me like that. Conducting a search. I want to go to the chair. Stop. Allow them to do their search. No, no. I want to go to the chair right now. Thank you. Sure. Love you, bitches. I want to thank you. This would be right now. Not even doing anything. Look at these bitches. Okay, okay, guys, get off of me right now, cool. bitch. How did you end up coming in contact uh, DUI. with DUI. Basically, she was driving. She hit the median. Oh, wow. Right the median. Uh, was it a call out, or did you guys see it happen? We just seen it happen. Oh, then, right uh, in front of you. Yeah, and then we followed her to the, um, she pulled into her complex. When she, as soon as we turned the lights on her, she threw a can of beer out the window. <laughs> and then um, she had uh, a couple priors that she had going to court for. So. Oh, for DUI, same thing? Yeah, so it would be her third, but the convictions aren't in it. Can we actually next week. All right. Appreciate okay. it. Yep, no problem. Thanks, guys. I was so not driving, so you guys. Got a forced blood draw going. This is this lady's uh, third time actually getting arrested for DUI. As soon as she came in through the door, she became combative. Get off of me, bitch. You guys, I'm not even resisting. You guys, get off of me, dude. And be nice, please. No, why do I have to be nice? No, everyone is disrespecting me. Oh, drill number one. <laughs> Do you understand what you're being charged with today? Uh, yes. Okay. Your original warrant, which is at the city of Las Vegas for your narcotics paraphernalia, okay. and you're getting charged with the heroin today. Okay. Okay? Okay. Any questions? Uh, no. All right. Good luck, man. All right. All right. Let's sit down. So Denise was in open booking and started just yelling and screaming out. I decided I'd try to give her a different uh, alternative by bringing her to a side cell instead of having to place her into the chair again. Come on over here a second. This is the second time you came in just like this. A DUI, where you had to be placed into the restraint chair before. So listen, you can't have outbursts. Because I'm sad. I understand you're sad, but you were telling me earlier about what happened. Can you finish telling me what happened? Yeah, 
I was at a bar, and that's it. Did you comply with everything? Okay, yes, I'm drunk. Do you have a revoked driver's license right now? I did not know that. You're not, you didn't know about that? Okay. So, I mean, those are the charges. Revoked driver's license. Revoked driver's license. Driving on a revoked license. Okay. DUI alcohol. And driving with an open container. Ah! I don't, I can't deal. See, that was the sound you made over there in open booking. That's what got you over here to this cell. Why? I'm crying. I'm sad. Do you okay. care that I'm sad? I can appreciate that you're sad. It's my old cell and I can cry all I want. That's your cry? That's how I cry. Okay, fine. I'm a nurse. Yes, I understand I have an alcohol problem. How long have you had this problem? For the last year. About a year? My girlfriend broke up with me. Mm-hmm. Do you know how she did it? And that's what started you on the yeah, alcohol? Yeah, she was like, she was like, Dear Denise, we can no longer be together. She wrote a letter to you? Email. Email. After three years of living together. That's insensitive. And I like fell into depression. Well, being a nurse, you I know alcohol is a depressant, right? So when you're in depression, I it's know. not good. Hey, don't go there. I, mean, I already know that. Yeah. I know I need help. There's a lot of places that can help you. Okay, I can't help you right can now. Can you call my attorney? You get sober up and we'll come back later and talk to you about it. Promise, Bible. Oh, promise, pinky Bible. promise. You don't like pinky promise promises? Pinky promises. Okay. All right, thank you, Tom. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Denise is a little out there, and she's just up and down, up and down, up and down. She wants help. We'll make sure she tries to get some help upon release. You were on the hood of a car? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and have a seat. Like, you were fighting with someone, I take it? Like a... They wouldn't stop the car and I was on top of it. Was it like a friend, a boyfriend. spouse, your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. You guys were angry, so you jumped on the car. He tried to run me over at first. You were on the hood of the car or like the roof of the car? No, on the hood. And like, he was driving me and I was like... You smashed, did you smash the window? All the way. The windshield. With your fist? No, it was this thing that was on the ground when like, I was going outside and I just picked it up. And smashed the windshield out. Did he crash? And you were on the hood? Like, he was driving and I kept telling him to pull over and you know, like, that's what I'm taking back. Like, he was like, leaving out of the apartment. And then you turned like, all the way back to the apartment, like driving on the street with me. So you didn't fall off? You could have been killed. You could have been killed, honestly. I'm gonna have you mm -hmm. take your sweatshirt off. So nobody got hurt. He didn't get hurt, you didn't get hurt. That's incredible. What were you guys fighting over? Cheating and cheating. You are? He was cheating. Oh, he was cheating. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going to happen? You guys broken up? Uh, I don't know. We have kids together. You have kids? How many kids oh, do you have? Two. What, how old are they? One and seven. Were they there? Did they see you there? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's good. What made you jump on the car? What was oh, like... Um, he tried to like back up and run me over and make me mad. So, so it was just... Fun. Completely out of anger. Yeah. All right, come on up. I'm gonna let you get some numbers out of your phone. So when the cops got there, were you still on the car, or did they? No, no, no. I was already off. The security got me. Oh, okay. Yeah. All set. Okay. I'm gonna have you come out here. You're gonna have a seat in the chair with the number three on it, and uh, wait for medical to call you up. Okay. Okay. So what took place? Well, Champagne got a call from her boyfriend, uh, and he invited her to his place. And he had told her that she, he's living with uh, his buddy. Well, upon arrival to the uh, apartment where he's staying at, she discovered that uh, her boyfriend indeed is not staying with a buddy, that he's living with another female. He tried to leave in his car, and she decided to jump on the hood of his car and take a piece of rebar and jam it through the front windshield. And during this time, her uh, son was also in the car. Oh, wow. I asked her that. She said the kids were not around, yeah. so. And he was, I think, the seven-year-old yeah. she was talking about? Okay. So what are we charging her with? Uh, she'll be charged with uh, injuring, tampering, and auto. 
and uh, child endangerment. Like I told her, she's lucky no one was killed. All right, thank, thank you. you. Champagne, come on up. All right, Miss Champagne. The, the bail amounts are here. This is whatever damage was done to the car, kind of like how much the car was worth. Court services will let you know how much you owe on that one. And then this is the bail on this charge here, okay? Go ahead and take this. You're gonna step out here. Raise your hand if you need the restrooms, the phones, anything like that. You take a seat in one of the first two rows. Listen for your name because these stations will be calling you up around the room. It's Champagne's first time here. She had, you know, some anger issues. She found out her boyfriend was cheating. Hopefully they can work things out and um, the situation will turn out better. They do have children. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We just got a call for an assist from an arresting agency. They didn't say what it was, whether he was intoxicated or combative. Combative. All right. He's got uh, blood on this side of his head. OK. We're going to walk this way. Was he in DV, just drinking, or? Uh, retail theft, assault with PO. Okay. Let's put him back here. Go ahead and face the mat. Anything on you that's gonna cut stab poke me? I hope not. Okay. If it is, it's a plant. <laughs> Feel like hurting yourself or anybody else? Oh no. No? You just been drinking tonight? Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> that's why I bought that 12 pack of beer. Yeah? But they wouldn't ring it up, and I got agitated. <laughs> Go ahead and slide your shoes off for me. Better buy me dinner. Is D2 open? Oh, uh, should be now. I'm going to get you in here and get Room your service. <laughs> Go over here. Oh, uh, OK. Come on over here and grab a seat for me, OK? Sure. You all right? Christopher came in intoxicated tonight, kind of combative with the arresting agency. During the search, he maintained his composure. We placed him in D2 for his safety. Once he's cleared by the medical staff, we'll get him out and get him booked in. This gentleman we got over here in uh, one of our drunk tanks. D2. He's been repeatedly beating the cell since he's been here, having outbursts, like mental health outbursts, along with, I'm sure, intoxication. So what we're going to do for his safety is we're going to put him over here into a padded cell because we're going to need our drunk tank for later. It seems like we're getting a lot in today. Christopher, yeah. come over here. Yeah. You're refusing? I need to move you to a different cell so you don't hurt yourself. Christopher, stand up and walk over to the cup fort now. He's been over here kicking and hitting the door. He's got a mental health history. He's got assaultive history on staff also. We're going to move him over to a peace cell. Christopher, come over to the cup port so we can take you and have you get contaminated. Which P cell? P3. Okay, we're gonna decon we're gonna decontaminate him in there. Yeah. Okay. Shield. You got the stuff ready. Left side control. Right side control. Restraints. I don't think he's gonna fight, so don't hit him, just pin him in the corner and let's get him down and restrain him. Chris, if you fail to comply with my instruction, force will be used against you. It's a pity that I don't hit him. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
screw it, put them on the ground by the grates, it should come in and decontaminate them. Whenever they get sprayed with pepper spray or any chemical agent, our nursing staff will come over and treat them with soap, water combination, removes the oil resins, medically clear them, and then they'll uh, we'll leave them in here until he calms down. We get him through the rest of the process. You need to bend over and place your hands through that. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Kind of, dude. I can't see. Right there. Very seldom do we have to go to that level of force and utilize our pepper spray. He does have a history of assaulting staff. If he sobers up and becomes more compliant, we want to get him through the booking process. Shut up. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm a man, dude. I know I'm talking to you like you're a man. Oh, the I'm gonna, I'll give you the answer. Oh yeah? yeah. That's 16 question one. Answer. Key in my fucking hole. Lost in our fucking hotel. I think two goddamn days. Look it up on your computer. Looks like Chris is still pretty agitated and he still needs a little more time to sober up. And if and if his behavior continues like this, we'll have a more comprehensive mental health evaluation and then you know we can get him down to a housing unit eventually. Which by the way, I could be in my Work for the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department Corrections Bureau for about six years. It's always been my goal to work for the Sheriff's Department where I lived at my whole life. This is the community I grew up in, so I really feel like I'm giving back to, you know, my community and helping out. You have any medical problems? I have panic attacks. No, I'm just having medical problems, like asthma, diabetes. I'm not talking about I depression. Have a panic attack. I've okay, that's fine. I don't need to know attack. about that right now. You're not going to have a panic attack. Guess it's right back down there. She's fine. She's not I'm not dealing with you her. You have a medical problem. Yeah, I'm telling her. She doesn't care. She's tired. Deputy Bruce, I just want to let you know this one woman here, she's just uncooperative. She's not answering any of my questions. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Okay, not a problem. We'll take care of it. Thanks. Why do you pay a woman like that? What's going on with her? She's just being difficult. She doesn't want to answer questions. How'd you guys come in contact with her? Prostitution still. Okay. All right. Ma'am, what's your name? Ma'am? What's your name? I'm Deputy Brusso. What's your first name? James. My name's Cynthia. Cynthia. You're in jail now. Just calm down. You'll be okay. I'm not panicking right now. Okay, well, then why didn't you want to answer their questions? Because of the stupid questions. She's asking me a question. And she doesn't care what I answer it. So why the f ask me? She's just doing her job. The okay. woman's on drugs. You say you're She's more drunk than I am. You say you're probably a little drunk right now? I may be under the influence, but she acts more drunk than I am. She's rude, obnoxious, and she asked me to, to she just threw me out, out of her window. I have panic problems. And the deputy said he was gonna spray me in the face. He's like freaking Silence of the Lambs. I mean, he, he forced me in the car just right. because he's wearing a black suit. That, what? That means he's a police officer. He could be anybody. All right, well, you know what? We'll get you through this, okay? But we'll just try to stay calm. We'll get you inside, we'll get you processed. You all set with her? Yes. Head straight over that door. That's the door now. There's no door. I'm not going in there. Come on. No. no. You need to cooperate with me, okay? I'm right over here. I feel like I'm in a, a, the basement or a dungeon. Have a seat right there. Sit down. Can you take off your jewelry for me, please? I can't even see if it's daylight or nighttime, you know? It is nighttime now. I need you to sign right here for all the property I took from you, okay? I don't want to sign that. Just throw it away. You think I care about my Settle goddamn down. jewelry? I'm in jail. Settle down. Shove it up your ass. I don't care. Listen, there's no need for any of that. Well, you know, she want me to has, sign has my Has she been signature. disrespecting you? Has she disrespected you <laughs> one time? She's asking me to sign my name for Is that a that hard? property when I'm in jail. Do you think I care? Absolutely. I don't give a 
What happens to my property right now? We have a job to do. And when we take property from you, it's our responsibility. You understand? She's been nothing but polite with you. She doesn't need an attitude from you. Stand up right now and step over to the MA shower and change out, or we're no, going to put you in a holding cell. you to be ashamed cell. of yourself. You work with the paycheck, you know? <laughs> Most people do, ma'am. Yeah, well, right in you here. know what? That's right this afraid. way. Step over here. Come on. We're into the free. Now take off your tank and put that on. No, I don't need to put it on. Let me put it this way. You either put it on yourself or I'm going to put it on for you. Go straight across over there and put your back on that black wall. I can't see anything. Right there, Cynthia. Black wall. This one right there. It's not black. It's gray. I can't see nothing. Step straight I'm ahead. Fine. I can't see nothing. Okay. Step straight ahead, baby. I don't see nothing. Okay, if you're not going to cooperate with our process, I'm sorry. You're going to go in the holding cell. You understand? Wall. You do not talk over me. I do not see the You do not talk wall. over me. You understand? Show me the black wall. Hey. Okay, you're going to walk this way. Come on. You can't see, you can't get processed. If you want to be difficult about things, you can sit in a holding cell until you're ready to process. You understand? Have a seat. What seems to be the problem here? Maybe there's no black wall. It's nighttime. Did everybody think that there might be candlelight one day and there's no black wall? Maybe I can't see it? Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia, this ain't no big deal. You gotta calm down. You gotta let us do our job. <laughs> this is only as hard as you make it, all right? We'll get you out of here in a little bit and process you, all right? Man, she is not happy. I've never seen her before. I don't know if she has any kind of history with us, but... I asked her if she had any kind of way around here, but she wouldn't answer me, There's so. definitely seems like some mental health issues, so... Give him a couple hours in a holding cell. Step over to your left. Good big show. We're just gonna go ahead and check on Cynthia here, see if she's ready to get processed. Hey, Cynthia. It's Deputy Brusso. Hey, how are you? You feeling better? Let's get you processed so you can lay on a mattress instead of the ground, okay? Sure, there's slide right there. Watch your back, Dolly. All right, when you come right here, and just go on and take a left for me, okay? Yeah, here it is. Deputy Dolly's gonna take your fingerprints. This is the okay. first time you've ever been arrested here in Sarasota? Yeah, it's the most horrible offense. It's like I killed somebody. Just because I said yes to something doesn't mean I'm a prostitute. Hey, Amen. You know? Well, unfortunately, you know, if they asked you I was you drunk. That, you I'm know. drunk. I mean, if they would have said jump up and down 20 times, I would have said yes to it. You know, I was scared. And then I was agreeable to anything he said, you know? Right, but what happens if, you know, there wasn't an officer on the street and it was somebody that, you know, that's uh, that's wanted also, to abduct you or something? I'm thinking that I know. So, so why would you get so, into a car with somebody, though? You know, I, I'm also you thinking know. I'm very lucky, too. All right, Cynthia. Yeah. So just do me a favor. Why don't you go over here and have a seat with all the other girls? We'll get you upstairs, okay? Yeah. So I appreciate you cooperating with me now, okay? It's pretty much a typical case there, you know, alcohol, going to jail, heightened zero you know, anxiety levels, and then it just takes a little time to work, work them down. But yeah. she got through it. It'll be OK. Yeah, it's just process, and uh, we'll get her upstairs here in a little while. Uh, outstanding. Yeah. All right. I try to treat the inmates just like I'd want to be treated if I was arrested with courtesy and respect until I can't do that anymore. But if you don't cause me any problems, we won't cause you any problems. We're just here to try to get you through the process with the least amount of conflict that we can. Bull man. Why are we here? All right. Uh, uh real, well, man. You got anything sharp in your pockets? No, oh, no. Man. What happened? They tell me I'm beating on my wife, man. My baby, my girl got a baby in and she got kicked out of the Rialto, and now they're saying that now I'm the one beating on her, man. Crazy. What's the Rialto? The bar. The bar. The bar. Okay. My girl, she's telling him right there, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. But I'm still going to jail because somebody else say they see something different. I never touched her, man. All the dope dealers on the street, and you got to make me go to jail for doing the right thing? Because you a hater? What are you, a d or what, man? That's great. Why don't you them for the Beat your mother Bitch hey, ass, punk. Hey, hey, it's not hey, nice. Sign right here. I brought you here. in your mother face, bitch. Sign right here. a cop, bitch. Yo, punk. Listen, right here. One more. Come on. You can't 
paper. Sign a 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 Sign a paper. 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 He was brought in for domestic violence, coercion, and assault for. He's kind of drunk, he's been drinking. Chances are there's something more going on than Vincent was telling us. Hey, Vincent. Come on out, man, we'll get you processed. Are you on parole or probation? Parole. Okay, they did a PV on you too, just to let you know. Parole, man. He told him, let me leave him alone. He never did nothing, man. All right. So why am I in jail for nothing? Well, you got assault for DV, uh, coercion, which means you were uh, permitting somebody to move freely. Come on, man. And then man. they put a detainer on. I'm just telling you what they did so you'll know what's going on, all right? Nobody did nothing. All right. All right. Go to have a seat. Hey, Vincent, what are, you on, what are you on parole for? No, what did you do prison time for? For... For a uh, burglary. Burglaries? All right. Come on, man. I'm the sober one. I'm the one that's not drinking. No, I don't I'm know how sober you I'm not okay, bad. Come on. You look, do I look A little bit, yeah. But I'm, but I'm good enough you're, to... You're not hammered. You're coherent. not hammered, but you're... Yeah, you, you, but you've been coherent. drinking. But I'm coherent, you are, though. You are, you are. And I know what's going on, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's going to hurt that. That's my wife with a baby, man. No, All right. Stand up. You know I ain't a bad guy, right? You don't seem like it. Yeah, you do. All right. All right, right over here. Let's up over here. Right hand. Oh. <laughs> All right, don't go down. It's the pants. You know what it is? Uh, I don't think it's the pants. It's the pants, man. I think it was the, the booze before the pants. Yeah, come on, man. All right, All right take this. You're going to walk Mary down this black with line? A, with a baby in her body. And act like I'm trying to hurt her. Come you on, direct man. him, Fitch. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Yeah. Can I get a sandwich? Well, uh, what's what they give you a wristband? Domestic violence, they can't take a chance. If, there's, if they even think there's been an assault, they have to arrest. A lot of times, the person that's being victimized won't tell the truth for fear. They, that she'll lose, maybe he's supporting her, maybe he's you know, paying, the, paying the bills. But it doesn't mean that she's not being assaulted by him. So, I have to wait and see. I've been working here for 12 years now, primarily in the booking area. I enjoy working down there because you never know what's gonna come through the door. Most nights, we get through the process very easily. Other nights, it seems like we're having to fight everybody. Been using any drugs today? No. <laughs> no? Do you use drugs at all? Maybe. Maybe a little bit? What's your drug of choice? Weed. Weed? All right, this way, man. No, just uh, have a seat over there in that wooden chair on the left. All right, Aaron, look right here. I gotta get your picture. Sit straight up and look right here. Look right here. Uh huh. Okay, stop moving around. Straight up. Turn your legs in the chair. Look straight down the hall at the red X. Tuck your hair in behind your left ear. Put your arm in your lap. No, 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 no. Oh, that's, that's, that's not too bad. Right. Hey, that's not the right way to go. That's not how they know. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't have to do that. You're right. You don't have to do anything. Knees on the bench. Knees on the bench. When you want to complete the process, okay? Without yeah. all the games, we'll get you out and do that. Until okay. then. Oh, Aaron came into jail today for second-degree theft. We were getting him through the process, but he wasn't really cooperating that well with us. Um, we got to the picture portion. Uh, he gave us the bird. Uh, we're not going to deal with that here. So we snatched him up. We took him to the back. He's going to stay in a holding cell until we're ready to process him. You ready to cooperate with us? Maybe. That's not a good answer. I need to get your picture taken. I need to get your fingerprints. You ready to cooperate with that? Yes? Okay. Come on out. Have a seat in the brown chair at the end of the hall. Okay? We're going to try the picture thing again. Okay, just have a seat. Look right here. Look right here, Aaron. All right, I am. 
All right. Turn your legs in the chair. Look straight down the hall. Okay, right. sit straight up for me. Tuck your hair in behind your left ear, please. Okay, sit straight up. Put your arm in your, in your lap. Sit straight up. All right, grab your stuff. I'm going to put you in the big tank. All right. If you continue to cooperate, everything will go all right. Okay. so years uh, I've been involved in training our staff uh, I've been able to teach people searches and search techniques uh, defensive tactics uh, to make them more prepared so that any situation we encounter hopefully we'll do the right thing and get through there safely for everybody kill me now you deserve my name you bitch ass mother so tell me what's going on with Ryan uh, he was brought in by Salt Lake City PD for urinating at the club into a sink, and then he started fights with the bouncers and things like that. So he's really agitated. Okay. Well, it sounds like he's uh, getting upset, so we'll just have to be careful with this one. All right. Where, where? Hey, Ransom. Turn around. Yeah. Face the mat. There you go. Relax. Where's your feet? There you go. Perfect. You been drinking today? Yes, I've been drinking! Hey, I ain't fighting you, why you fighting me? Relax! Brian. I am relaxed, hey, why aren't you relaxed? Calm down. You've been drinking today? Yes! How much? A lot! Okay. You've been here before? No! Can you calm down? Yes! Okay, then calm down, bud. I am calm! Would you stop yelling? Yes! Hey, yeah, they just touched my balls. I felt they touched my balls again. It felt good, I'm not gonna lie. I like All to right. Hey, thanks for serving America. Good job. Good job, America. Hey, good job, America. Okay, we're gonna be using this tether to, oh, uh, tether. to remove your, yeah, to tether, remove your jacket, okay? So tether me, because I'm so Hold aggressive. On. Tether me, because I'm such a harm against America. Hey, Ryan, you need to relax. I am relaxed. Am I fighting you? Am I punching you in the face? Make sure we adjust those hands. Yeah, yeah, readjust it. Readjust it because I'm such a harm to humanity. If you think I'm a harm, if you think I'm an endangerment, no, you're doing all going to burn. You're all going to burn. You're doing great, Ryan. Just yeah, I'm relax. doing great. Because I didn't fight. Walk it back. Yeah, hurt me, mother <laughs> Hurt me. Ryan, I give a Ryan, I walk, okay? Walk I'm backwards. walking. I'm walking backwards. Thank you. Thanks, me. Ryan. No. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Right. My brother's a cop. He's hurting me. I ain't hurting you. You guys are hurting me. I'm hurt. hurt. So. Yeah, throw me. Throw me. Throw me. Throw me. Right here. Right here, Ryan. Okay, lift up your foot. Okay, Ryan, listen up, bud. You're gonna back up. You're gonna pull your arms through the cuff port so you can remove these cuffs from you, okay? So bend your knees, pull your arms out. All right, walk inside, bud. I want to leave. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, Ryan. All you need to do is sober up a little bit. We'll get you out and, tell you, and let you know exactly what's going on with you, okay? Yeah, I So am keep sober. doing exactly what you're doing, and we'll get you out here in a little bit and uh, get you booked in. Crowther. Yep, Crowther. Hey, Crowther. I know a lot of Crowthers. Should <laughs> I just go sit down? Yeah, that would be a good thing to do. Thanks, Ryan. As soon as he uh, sobers up a little bit more, he'll be ready to get out and go through the process. Uh, he seems like just got a little bit too uh, rambunctious with the alcohol tonight. Ryan, see how he's doing. Seems like he's calmed down a little bit. Ryan, you doing a little bit better? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, 
We'll get you down to another cell and get you booked in, okay? All right, thanks, Ryan. Ryan, stand up, please. Yeah, stand up so the nurses can check you, Ryan. Oh, careful, guy. Careful. Just back up, Just back up a little bit. You're all right. No, other way, other way, other way. Come towards us. You've been drinking today? Yeah. I fight for freedom. What okay. do you fight for? Freedom, too. Me, too. I want to just be a safe citizen. Okay. I don't try and hurt anyone. Looks like Ryan has uh, cooperated with nurse checks, and we'll be moving him down to a drum tank here shortly. Another hour or two, we'll get him through the booking process, and we'll get him out of here as quick as we can. charge of the reception floor and the booking counter, so basically making sure that everybody's safe and searches and things like that when they come in. Some of the skills it takes care. working down here, I'd say the most foremost is uh, being patient. Honestly, that's huge. And safety practices. We just got a call about a female combative. Um, they should be here any time now. They want us to meet them in the Sally Port. What's your name? Karen. She, she just very, very, very drunk and very angry. So she's not. She, we, had to, we had to carry her down the stairs to get her. So uh, she charged with criminal mistreatment. She hit a kid. Uh, she's been drinking as well. She's, she's way drunk. No, I don't. I don't like to be. Don't push me. Got a couple standard questions. Take these things off me. That's not the answer. Are you uh, diabetic? No. Are you suicidal? Yes. Where and I'm totally drunk, okay? Mm -hmm. You already know that. Yeah, that I know, but that's not one of the questions. Where take these things off my... Don't take my earrings. All this stuff gets put in your property and you'll get it when you get released. Peter. Well, that's not nice that you threw my pearls. Take these off me. I want to yeah, just want my glasses, Well, get them to you. Just relax. See. We're taking yeah. you out of the car right now, OK? And do not mess with those pearls. Give me the right hand first. Can I have my glasses, please? OK, listen. Let us do our job. We're going to let you get your glasses on so you can see what's happening. I'm not trying to stop you from seeing, OK? I didn't I'm do excuse anything. Me. Okay. It's already on there. Just what do you mean they're smudged? They're smudged. They're in there, so you can't even tell. I know. And you have my pearls. Don't mess with those pearls, please. We're not. They're going to go in your property. You'll get them when you get released. Now we're going to have to take your glasses off, because you can't have your glasses while you're in the cell, especially since you said you were suicidal. OK? So I'm just going to take them off. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need my glasses. I can't. Can turn around and have a seat right here. We can give you a chance to sober up. I need to ask you a question. When you first came in, you said you were feeling suicidal. Do you, do you really feel that way today? No, no. I really just want to go home and sleep in my own bed. I don't, I, I don't want to be left in like this kind of room. So am I technically arrested or? You are now in custody of the Multnomah County Sheriff's yes, Office. Okay. And I have some concerns because you mentioned suicide. I'm hoping you were just upset. I'm going to touch base with medical. I want to go home. I, I want to go home. And we're going to work in that direction. I'm going to look and find out where your property is at, and I'll get back with you and let you know what's happening. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. What was Karen's charges? Uh, she's here for mistreatment one, assault three, and harassment. Gotcha. She's in ISO right now. She was talking about she was going to hurt herself, so... She's now on suicide watch. Okay. So just give your heads up. All right. Thank you. Right here on this wall. Look up your name. So listen, do you know why you're in an isolation cell? Because I'm crazy. Because your behavior was less than desirable. Okay. okay. I... Do, do you think that if you're allowed to come out of this cell that you can conduct yourself appropriately? Yes. Yes. So you don't want to hurt yourself then? No. Okay, here's your glasses. Thank you. Stand up. We're ready. When you come, stop, stop. 
Stop moving. When you come out of this room, I want you to, when you come, stop moving. Listen to what I'm saying. Put your shoes on. Is there any so you hear what I'm saying? Cigarette? No cigarettes. You're gonna get your picture taken. But I'm the one that called the cops Already. to come to my house. I got you. So why am I being the arrested one with black fingerprint things on? So look over here at the blue eyes, okay. right? Okay. You Keep your glasses on. Just looked on the computer, found out that Karen actually is not going home tonight. Probably going to court tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon um, and be arraigned by the judge, especially when she's formally told of her charges. Uh, the intake area here in Sarasota County. We get a different plethora of people that come through here. A lot of agitated people sometimes. A lot of times people are uh, pretty calm and it's easy to deal with, but for the most part, it is a pretty stressful job. You gotta deal with a lot of different people and their attitudes and stuff like that. I don't wanna do that, please. Have a seat. No, can I, can I get some water, please? Have a seat. Sit down. You stay seated, you understand me? Just relax. Okay. I've told you like seven times. Just relax. Okay. They're gonna take That's care of you. my right. This is jail, sir. I know, but this I is not the street. I got okay, when rights. somebody in here tells you to sit down, you need to have a I seat. Have, when we tell you to do wrong. something, you need to do it. All right. I have done everything. Do we have an understanding? I have done anything wrong. Okay. That's right now, I have no idea what you're arrested for. I know. All right. So you, you need no to sit there and relax. All right. All right. Oh, he's got a warrant for us? Yeah, he's got a warrant out of the SO. He's Go figure, we're just a resisting like, officer. I've, I've explained it to him like 15 times. Does he just not understand English or is he... No, he, he goes from being cooperative to belligerent to cooperative to be belligerent, so... I don't have a warrant. Yes, you do, sir. It's right, it's right here. here. Resisting officer obstruction without violence. That's what your warrant's for. No, I have a warrant. I have it right here. You have a $750 bond, okay? Please. Sir, step over here for me. Oh, my God, I said that. Step over here. For what? Because I told you to. What, did we just not have this conversation? We just had this conversation, right? Yeah. When somebody in here tells you something that you need to do, you need to get up and do it, correct? All right, so I'm asking you to stand up and step over here in front of this window. No, wait for it. Okay, you have one more opportunity to stand up. I have to conduct a pat down on you. So you can either stand up over, uh, under your own power and walk over here so I can do my job, or I'll stand you up your, by myself. But I wanna know why I gotta stand up, you know? All right, you wanna play this way? We're gonna play this way, all right? Stand up. Now you wanna stand up. Step over here and face this window. Step over here and face the window. How much you had to drink tonight, man? Spread your feet. A few beers, you know? I don't you sure? Because you're reeking of alcohol. Yeah, I know, but you know I'm free. You obviously speak good English, so I know you understand us. Why are you giving us such a hard time right now? I'm not giving a time. You sure? Because I had to ask you right. ten times to stand up. I'm not have to be here. He's had to ask you seven or eight times to sit down when you came in the facility. We don't have any discretion. You have to be arrested under your active warrant. Okay. But I have done everything they asked me for. All you can so. do at this point is just relax. I have any warrant on me. You know that. I respect you, you know? Well, you're not doing a very good job of it right now. You're going to step right over that door. It says photo ID and fingerprint. Okay. Have a seat on that stool right there. All right. What size shoes do you wear? Well, I don't know. You don't know what size shoes you wear? No, I don't think so. Sir, yeah, I highly sure. doubt you're like this sober. I haven't done anything wrong. But I know my rights. I don't have to do that. Sit down. I know, it's not right. Sit down. Listen, okay. I'm, done with, I'm, right. done. I'm done with I'm done. I'm done with you. Not right. Okay? I'm done. We've told you 15 times to do something, know, and you don't want to do it. I know that's not right. Crack, uh, crack. Which one? Face the wall. <laughs> Lift your left leg back. What is your problem? I have no problem. You sure? I just say that. Because why do we have to tell you to do something 15 times before you do it? Because I know that. Because you're right. drunk. I'm not drunk. You've had yes, way too much to drink. All right, you're going to sit in here and you're going to relax. You understand? I understand. Do yeah. we need change? Okay, that's the first thing you've understood all night. All right. Have a seat on that stool. Back up. Now sit out. When you're ready to address that warrant, let us know, all right? He's making it so much harder than it has to be. He's gonna be in there for at least four or five hours. Hopefully we can get a process here in a little bit. Yeah, he'll sober up and we'll get to him, I guess, a little bit later.
check on that guy in six. See if we can get him processed. Okay. Hey, how you doing? You sober up a little bit? Hey, I see you got your oranges on and everything. You ready to uh, get processed? Yes. All right, stand up. Go ahead. Come on out here for me. There you go. I need both thumbs first, right there, just like that. So how much you have to drink tonight, man? That's it? I mean, you were pretty drunk when you came in here. You don't want to listen to anything I had to say. You do understand that you do have a warrant, right? No, I, that's what I'm asking for. Well, earlier I tried I to explain to you. To. But you, you do, though. The judge has signed a warrant what for your arrest. arrest? It's, it's for the obstruction charge. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice but to arrest you when you have a warrant for you. But coming in here and saying you don't have a warrant and then saying, you know, you can do whatever you want, and you didn't want to listen to anybody, yeah, you end up getting a holding cell, yeah. getting stuck in there. I'm sorry about that. Then you have a seat in the day room, second or third row for me, all right? Good luck to you, sir. Unfortunately, when people come in here and they don't want to listen to what we have to tell them, they end up going to a holding cell and costing themselves four or five hours. But now he'll uh, finish getting processed and he'll be able to bond himself out. I've been with the sheriff's office for a little over 10 years now. When I first started, most crimes involved marijuana or alcohol. Since then, I've seen this progress into more addictive drugs like methamphetamines. You see the crimes get more serious as the drugs and alcohol increased, and uh, they're directly related. All right, what's the story with Daniel's arrest tonight? You know, I went to the house earlier tonight, and a guy made an assault report, and then the homeowner came over and said that uh, he had also stolen her car. So. I show up, the car's sitting in the driveway, and he's sitting at the dinner table, and someone's like, yeah, he's in there eating mac and cheese. Sure enough, I walk in, he's reading his Bible, just waiting for me. Did you know the person that you borrowed it from? Yeah. Okay. But they didn't want you to take it, I'm guessing, at this point, since you're here. Uh, yeah? So you took a car, you returned it. Were you just waiting at the residence for the person to return? Were you sitting outside? Uh, just waiting for the car to show up. Why'd you take the car in the first place? Man, I'm trying to get sober right now. From? Drugs. Drugs? And, uh, and uh, God's doing this for me now, so. So you wanted, you wanted to come to jail today? Yes. What drugs do you do on the outside? I do meth. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, I've been doing meth for like uh, two years, three years, ever since I got out of the military. It's, uh, it's, it's a horrible thing. So why not just turn yourself into like a treatment center or something? Because it's difficult to admit when you have a problem, man. Yeah? <laughs> well, you, that's kind of what you're doing now, and that, this seems like a much harder way to do it. Well, it's because I got what I wanted now. <laughs> um, we're also going to strip search him. Okay. He, uh, since he knew he was coming to jail, has got admitted to a history of uh, drug use. You don't have any drugs on you, do you? I don't have any drugs on Nothing me. we need to be concerned no. about? Okay. Sounds like you got a warrant out of Colville, too. Yeah, for uh, missing a court date. Yeah. You could have simply turned yourself in on that warrant. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that would have saved you a lot of hassle. Would've, that would have saved you the felony. Like, time served or something, sent me out, and I'd still be using drugs. Yeah. You know, I would have been in there for three days, and I just would have wanted to get high when I got out, you know? Sure. We're we ready for him? So don't back that away. So Daniel came in tonight after taking a vehicle from an owner without permission. Uh, he committed the crime so he would get arrested, knowing he would get arrested, in hopes of getting help for his drug addictions. He feels he's run out of options on treatment and was hoping that the courts would help him out with that. Kind of want to get a follow up from you on, uh, you know, why you're here and what you're hoping for. I'm uh, actually I'm hoping to get into the treatment facility, but I don't know. This is just. Have you ever been in one before? No. So the hope is to talk to the judge, talk to pretrial services, and say, hey, I've got a 
I've got a drug problem. Hopefully get help from there. Yeah. That's what it's all about, getting yeah. myself clean. I just hate to see in the situation because you go out there, you commit a felony that you're going to have to, you know, take responsibility for and, you know, ultimately could wind up being on your record and that will follow you through the rest of your life. Um, you know, for you to come in here and say I've got a drug problem and go to that extreme to commit a crime to get help uh, says something. I just hope you follow through with it on that part. But uh, you're young, now's the time to get a hold of it, get control of it, okay? Well, best of luck to you. And have a seat back on the red chairs. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping and cops has me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Uh, I got a call for a code five. They didn't say whether he was combative or not. They just said uh, male code five. He's pulling in right now. And we'll see how he's acting in the back of the car. How you doing, buddy? Not too good. I can see that, man. It's not cool, man. You know where you're at, man, right? Uh, yeah, I'm in a place where I don't need to be for no apparent reason. So my guys pull you out, you're gonna be cool with them? You would have a very cooperative person. That's cool. That's all we ask. Just slide in my bag. Let's slide those sandals on right there. For being hungry, <laughs> this is what happens for being hungry. You happy? Anyone know why? I can find out. I think one of the things they did tell me was resistance and obstruction. Do you have a last name with you, my man? Uh, right now, I got nothing. So I find out what I'm out here for, exactly what did I do wrong besides being hungry. Then I'll tell you guys something. Other than that, I have no reason to be in these handcuffs. So what was the deal with that kid? He's running inside the Bat Burger, in and out of the bathroom, acting kind of weird. The SAT team guys go out on him. Uh, he locks the bathroom door and he's looking through the window, kind of taunting them. They come get me, I'm not going to come out. Uh, they get the door open, they step outside, we need to see the ID. And as soon as they go to grab him, he just went nuts. And then, he, of course, he started telling everybody out there to fight the police. He smelled the weed on him when we first engaged him down there, so I'm sure he's either smoking it or he was selling it. And then when he went in the bathroom, he flushed it. Yeah, he got rid of it before he finally opened the door and let us in. So. See why he got brought down here. This man is not cooperating not at all. We have no ID on him, no name. We have no idea who he is. So he's not letting us do our jobs at all. So he's just trying to make it difficult. You cannot do this. This is against the law. Well, you are here and you're going outside. This is against the law. As soon as we find out who he is, they won't know. You know, he's got priors for dope or something like that. Cross your feet. Stay like that until the door closes. Okay. Can I hear like my fingers now? Stay off of that door. And he's just up and down, so he can stay in the side cell and relax for a little bit, and then we'll go from there. Hey, I asked for to be told. Why? And I, you, did you ever give me a chance to go find out? I told you I would be back and, and find out. Find out and let me know. Like I said, you have to work with me for me to work with you, right? Didn't I tell you that? I've been denied information. Are we going to pull him out? Oh, can't hear him? Yeah, he can. Hey, before we even talk, we need to know your name. I need an answer to know who like, you are. Never, you guys stopped by the police. For, they, for we're, doing nothing. Regardless of what you think it is or nothing, to us it's suspicious. So when we stop and talk... The officer comes up behind me and starts harassing me for no apparent reason. Uh, you know, everything in Fat Burger is videotape, right? Yes. Okay, so you you, you you think for one minute we don't look at you going in and out of Please the bathroom? Please look at the cameras. We already have. As a matter of fact, since you said that... We already have. No, you haven't. Because if you looked at that camera, take me to the surveillance room. Okay, we're done. Take me to the conference room. Have a nice one, to man. To where you interrogate Let's me. Let's go. Let's go for obstructing and resisting. We'll wait until this pit comes back. All right, I'm gonna go try to talk to this John Doe in the uh, side cell. Maybe he's calmed down a little bit and he'll decide to give us some information. All right, I'm gonna go talk to some of the patrol officers. I'm sure somebody's had contact with them in the past. All right. Is that him? 
<laughs> it looks like it. He's got a bunch of warrants for uh, burglary, uh, battery, substantial bodily harm, and battery by strangulation. Probably about $60,000 on warrants. Now we know why he didn't want to get fingerprinted. Uh, he just came in for what, obstructing? Yeah, just uh, yeah, obstructing. And this carries a, carries a little more weight than just obstructing, so. Yeah. All I did was go in the fat burgers. You weren't doing anything suspicious? Nothing else. Uh -huh. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I would say so. That's you? Yes. That's you? What what's the thing is that me? Is this you? Is it me? You tell me. You tell me. Last time you were in city jail. Yeah? You been in city jail before? Yeah. 2011? Right. All right, so I can pretty much call you Mr. Okay, what my thing is, where did that come from? How did you get my name? There's a lot of officers that come in and out of this building that watched you make that spectacle out front. A lot of them recognize you. No, couldn't have been. We can go with then for last name? I want to know. Your name is better than a John Doe because we can't release you as a John Doe. So now I know you'll at least be getting out of here, all right? No. I won't be getting out. Why? Because I have a warrant. You've got about $80,000 in warrants. That's quite a bit. No, well, I can see why you didn't want to get pitted. We understand now, but we still got to get you through the process, man. We got to get it done, so. I mean, honestly, I was going to tell you guys. No, for real. <laughs> We put you in here because you weren't cooperating. If because you cooperate, we'll take you out and get you to the process. I shouldn't even be here. But you know what? I'm kind of glad it happened. I can get it out of the warrant. I can get it out of the way now. My kid will be here in February. All right. You know, hopefully it's done. I don't even know what the warrant is for, really. So I know I haven't done anything. When we get this inputted, you're going to get a copy of all your charges, and you'll know what all your warrants are for, OK? We're going to go drop it now, all right? Hey, word is bond. Right? I got you. Right. I got you. We'll be back. I got you. All right. Usually All right. when somebody doesn't want to be fingerprinted, uh, that tells us something. Something's up, so. Well, if I had $80,000 or more, so I'd probably not want to be identified either. Kristen, stand right here. Face that way for me, okay? What are you here for, Kristen? Murder. What are you here for, Kristen? <laughs> I really doubt that it's murder. <laughs> Why? You don't uh, think I can do that? You don't look like a murderer, but you never know. What do you think you're um, here for? Well, okay, so I drank in the morning. Okay. Yesterday, and right. I thought I was still okay. Thursday morning? No. This is Thursday. No, it's Friday. Oh, it's Thursday? Still Thursday until oh, midnight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 45 minutes of Thursday. So, Have a seat. Yeah, I drank early in the morning. Uh huh. At 10 in the morning, and then um, I woke up in my car and <laughs> drove. And I ran out of gas, and they came, and I told them, yeah, I did drink in the morning. And now you're here for DUI, possibly but suspicion wanna, of DUI. Yeah, but okay. I do want to blow again because I know that I'm fine. Yeah, you'll do a breathalyzer. I do okay. have to, right? Yeah. What I need you to do right now is take your jacket off. All right, what comes out in the hair? Are these clips? No, please don't take them. If they're clippies, they gotta come out. No. They're clippies. Oh my this god, This no. really is the least of your worries, is your hair. Oh my god, no. Come on, please. help me take them Not out. Not without my picture first. We have to take them out. Oh my god, now I'm going so <laughs> All right, go that way. <laughs> she told me she drinks vodka with Sprite. That's her drink. Pretty strong stuff. What happened with her tonight? We were driving on the Beltway and she was uh, broke down, standing in front of her car. Um, we detected an odor of alcohol, and um, she, uh, she had a really bad night, fight with a boyfriend, a little binge drinking, half a bottle of vodka, she told us. Wow, what happened to your car? I ran out of gas. Oh, that's it, didn't it just ran out of gas? It didn't break down, she just ran out of gas. Same thing, yeah. <laughs> come on, for girls. This is her second offense this year, unfortunately, and she's very young. Take a deep breath and blow. Flow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, have a seat. Wait, what is the legal limit? And oh, 0.08. Oh my gosh, it's 0.083. Oh, 
Oh my god. Are We've been out with you me? for an hour and a half. It's three over. It's not it's three over. It's over the legal oh. limit. Even if it was one over? The legal limit is a point oh eight. And we've already oh. been out with you for over an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, I know. She had a prior. She hasn't been convicted of her first DUI, so we have to charge her with the first DUI again. Um, so now she'll have two first DUIs within six months. Wow. Yeah. She said she was asleep in the car, woke up and started driving, ran out of gas. Is that what happened? Yeah. It she, is? Okay. Yeah, she's was right. pretty, it was puke in the car. And, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. All right. Well, glad you got her off the road. Yeah. At least she's yeah. um, playing nice, huh? Yeah. Thank you. No problem. I used to hate her again. Well, maybe you can learn to hate it again. I woke up freaking 10 o'clock. It was like 9.53, I woke up. And then I drove because I freaking slept for a couple hours, like a lot, a lot, a, a lot, good part of the day, it sounds like. Yeah, so I don't understand. It takes a long time for alcohol to go out of your system. Yeah, did you drink a lot? What did you drink? Vodka. Well, oh. I take straight shots out of the bottle. And just chase it. That sounds rough, that's hardcore. Is that your drink of choice, or was that just yeah. what was available no, today? No, that's what I always drink. Vodka with Sprite? You're having a bad night. Pretty bad night. No, it's going to be like a bad month. I think I'm going to be here for a long time. You think so? Well, that might not be a bad thing. You know, you'll kind of calm down, think about what you've got to do. But I can't even do anything with two DUIs anyway. Like, I don't even want to call my mom. Where do you live? Her. At home with your mom? No, I have my own house. You have your own place? OK. Mom yeah, gonna a be, three bedroom house. Mom's going to be pretty disappointed, I'm thinking. All right, Kristen, let's come in and take your picture, OK? Stand in the red box right there. Look up at the open your mind. All right. All right, let me know when you're ready. You ready? Okay. This is going to be a keeper right here. All right, Kristen. Here are your charges. She's got you for DUI alcohol. The bail is only $2,000. That's the bail? So, yeah, that's the same as it was last time in your other one. Oh, okay, but yeah. um, it's not going to cost $2,000. No, if you use okay. a bail bondsman, it's a percentage. Oh, my goodness. And then you also have a charge driving with a revoked driver's license during Wait. your revocation period. I didn't know, though. It doesn't. Still gonna get charged with it though, okay? So that bail's a thousand on that. So three thousand total. So you'll call the bondsman, he'll give you a percentage, and you'll figure out how to get out of here, okay? But that's not a lot of bail to have to come up with if you call the bondsman. I'm thinking the party needs to be tapered down a little bit. What do you think? You're a little too young to be in this much trouble, okay? <laughs> I've never been in trouble before. Before the DUIs? No. Yeah. Well, I don't think drinking's working out for you. I think you should try to give that up and try something else. Go to yoga or something. Do something else. All right, do you remember what to do in the next section? Have a seat. Find a seat in there, okay? They've just charged her with a straight DUI this time, so her bill, her bail's only $2,000. So she's got a long road ahead of her, but hopefully she can pull it together. got a page saying that there's a code five coming in. Uh, he's been fighting with the patrol officers out on the street. Who you got here? I have Christopher. The original call was that he was sitting outside the, of a business making threats saying, kill me. He is intoxicated and he was being aggressive towards officers. Okay. How you doing? I've been better. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm a good man. All right, listen up. Um, we're going to walk you in there. You don't settle down, you're going to end up in that chair, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. Will you please be gentle with me? We will be gentle with you, sir. Okay. Okay. We are going to try to walk him in. Okay, let's start walking, sir. I'm a good man, and this is wrong. My daughter would tell you how good I am. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, young man? I believe you. I don't want no trouble. All right, again. Turn to your left, stand right there, spread your feet apart. I have five kids that love me. You need to remain calm, okay? All right? Sir, I'm not a criminal, man. 
What have I done? He's not going to make it. We're going to have to put him in a strange chair. I think you're going to kill me. We're not going to kill you. He's going to be a blood draw anyhow, and he might give us problems then, so it might as well just put him in the chair now. And Sit. What have I done to deserve this? You haven't followed any directions yet. I hope you die in hell. He's just too, too up and down right now, too intoxicated. We've been in the restraint chair for a little while, getting a little cool down period. Do you have any health problems, Bill? Yes. What do you have? I'm stupid. Any other health problems? No. No? Do you drink or use recreational drugs at all? No, but I think that'd be a good idea. Suicidal, do you want to hurt or kill yourself? No, I have five kids that love me. God damn it. We're good. No, God damn it. In the car when I spoke to him, he said he was a recovering alcoholic. He has been drinking, so we're going to have to wait and we'll take a blood draw and go from there. He just started spitting on the floor now, so we're going to put a mask on so he doesn't spit on anybody. Hey, bro, I don't think this is necessary, but you know what? I'm cool with it. Make an effort. Make an effort. I bet you can't even get out your pants. I'll wait. I'm going to stick my right here right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to stick my I'm going to kill you. I know I, I pretty much think you're not going to beat me up. Shut up, bitch. No. Kill you. I think I want to do heroin. Be quiet for a minute. Okay. There's some important stuff to talk to you about, okay? Okay. When you get a blood draw on you, okay. we have a search warrant signed by uh, Judge Olympus. We ask that you cooperate. I don't no, want to do that. Okay, sir. Thank you. Please make it hurt as bad as, 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 bad as you can. Just stab me. You're gonna kill me, huh? No, sir. Oh, no. Just procedure. Oh, that's all good. That's all you got? For now. I think he's calmed down some, but he's got another blood draw in an hour, and he comes out of the chair in another 20 minutes. We're probably gonna try him out in uh, pre-arrest, so we'll just see how it goes. You are the stupidest man I've ever met. Stupid. <laughs> Just have a seat right there. Go and okay. Yes. Thanks. Okay. All right. Hey, man, you're a good officer, and I love you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He's starting to relax a little bit, but he's still kind of on the edge, maybe going off. But, uh, you know, now he's saying that he loves me, so uh, we'll see how far that goes. Hey, bro, what's up? What the f are you looking at? You want your ass beat? You going to do it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. No, no, no. What's up, my boy? Please, sit down. You want some, bro? Chris, sit. Relax. I'll smash your head, bro. Know that. Come here. Come here. Okay. All you had to do hey, was calm down. No. You cannot follow directions. You had to go back in the chair. No, no, no. You cannot follow directions. You had to go back in the chair. Really? I Hold still. I'll be good. Hold still. So I will be good. I promise you. There's no need to scrap me. Sit down. Sit down, Chris. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Get the hand up. A little bit better now. Hey, I'm going to kick your ass, bro. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's cool. As soon as they scoop me closer to you, you I'm going to headbutt you. I don't think they're going to do that this time for you, buddy. Oh, no, they are. Hey, hey, bro. I love you, man. We're in this together, right? Okay. Yeah. Huh. All right, Chris, we're gonna get your photo done right now, all right? Look right over here for me so we can take your picture. Look this way a little bit more. Thank you. All right. Hey, you want me to tickle your chin with my tongue? No, I don't. Okay. Take your head for it, all right? Okay. Thank you. He's still up and down, so we're gonna take him upstairs and uh, to psych housing, that was a bad and, uh, isolation choice, housing. Man. Will you guys tell me what I did wrong? You're threatening somebody, and we don't know how you're gonna act, so we have to put you back in the chair until we figure that you're gonna oh, be man. okay. Hey, hey, bro. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. Hey, bro, I'm serious. I am not a threat. Based on some of the remarks he made when he came in, the uh, psych services deemed him to be a potential suicidal inmate, so he's coming up here for suicide watch. Suicidal. All right, well, we're going to get a room all by yourself for a little while. Okay? Oh, that's cool. Thank you. All right. I have done nothing wrong, okay. so I think I need to be released right now. We're going to take you out now. OK. Do what we say. OK. Yes, sir. There's nothing typical that happens in book, and this is one of those nights where you have one inmate that you have to dedicate a lot of time to. I just want you to lay down and take a little nap, all right? Okay. We're going to come up and talk to you later and see how you're doing, all right? Okay. All right. Have a good night, all right? Okay. All right. Thank you, sir.
Hey, Chris. We just came up to check on you, see how you're doing. Okay. Chris, do you remember when he came in? Do you remember what happened when you got arrested? Um, I'm an alcoholic in recovery. I have 18 uh -huh. months of sobriety, and I slipped yesterday. And um, that's what happened, man. I really screwed up, and I've made my life a lot worse from it. Yeah. But I can you know tell. what? I'm going back to AA as soon as I get out of here, and I'm getting right back on track, and I'm going to be a great man. Oh, well, good. Because, so I mean, I can tell that you're, you're yeah. acting a lot better than you were last night. Yeah, I do believe I was blacked out. Yeah, I mean, you're, I do believe you're... I was very deep in my disease last night, and I yeah. apologize for that, sir. No, it's fine. We deal with a lot of people that come in like that. They uh, did do the probation violation charge on you from your, uh, from the DUI. Right. So, uh, I don't know. Are you in pretty good standings with your PO right now? Yeah. You are? Really good. Okay, well, maybe we can talk to him and see what's going to go on. Last night you said your family really loved you a lot and you love them. So. I think they do. I oh, really do. I don't think they're going to give up on me. Oh, well, good. Because you need a good support group when you're outside the jail. I do. Yes, you do. All right, Chris. See you. All right. Good to see you. You're doing better, though. It doing is, good. right? Thank you. Take care, okay? It's nice that he's doing a lot better today. You can definitely tell that he's, uh, the alcohol is worn off. Uh, it's unfortunate that he got the probation violation. Yeah, it is. Oh. He's going to be away from his family, but... I'm not sure exactly what his status is, but... We'll find out and see if we can move him out of here and so he can take care of some business. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I started out in the military, did 20 years there. Basically, I joined here because it was the same type of brotherhood, same type of feeling that you're looking for. There's a lot of leadership traits, a lot of honor, courage, core commitment, you know, just people that you could really depend on and count on as you're going through your day-to-day -day paces. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? Anything on the cut poker? No, sir. Up? Wait until I finish the question, please. No, sir. Okay. Once again. Me, sir. I'm not really into that. Thank All you, right. though. So, what do we got tonight? He was peeing next to Selva Grill uh, on Main Street, peeing on a, on a table. A lot of people were eating dinner. Yeah. Dinner and a show. Dinner, dinner and a show. show. That's right. <laughs> All right, sir. Stepping right in here to the left. Going to your left, sir. Left. Have a seat right here for me, sir. No, no, do. no. You're being arrested, yes, sir. For what? Because you urinated on a table while people were eating. No. Ah, well, no. Yeah, we kind of frown upon that. Now I'm going to have to fight this one. You know this, right? Well, that's what court's for, sir. No what I need you to do right now is go ahead and take off your shoes and your socks for me. And I pissed where? You pissed on a table while people were eating. No, no, I did not do that unless you have documented information on that. Take off the shoes or else I'm going to assist you, keep sir. Keep this. Paul. Make sure you keep this. I'm going to ask you one more time. You abuse me in America. That's a cracker right there. We appreciate you not using racial terminology, sir. Yeah. Deep South, crackers. White man can say it, too. What's this key to, sir? At your mother's house. Really? Your mother sucked me thick. I'm sure your mother would be very proud to hear you speak like that. Mother loves me. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to step right, right in here, sir. Going right over here. Put your arms down. Put your hands down by your side. How we do it, soldier, baby. You don't know anything about the military, sir? Oh, yes, I do. Really? What branch of service were you in? What do you mean? Exactly. Okay, take the shorts off. They got too much metal on them. Yes, Put the pants on, sir. Step out here. Where's your mom? My mom's probably at home right now, sir. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna step right over here. Going right over to this gray panel on the wall. Gray panel on the wall. Right up on the wall. There we go. Put your back against the wall, Paul. Doing good, doing good. You know this? You're a crack. I'm an American yeah, citizen. Country crack. Deep South. You don't like Italian. I'm Italian. My last name's Italian. That's why you don't like me. You got any tattoos, Let's sir? Go and give me no. Pull up the sleeve for me, sir. Go ahead, pull up the sleeve. I'm asking you nicely. You're a crack. Okay. Come on. Come on. No. 
Yeah. You want to be silly like that? There's only so much I'm willing to take. Don't tense up on me, sir. Sir, sir. Nice. Right here nice for me. Nice video on ice. There we so go. Nice, so nice video on ice. Watch your you steps. Stop trying to spin around there, Chief. Stay. We'll try a little bit later. Okay, Paul's been in here for a little while. He seems to sober up a little bit, so we're gonna check and see if we can finish this process. Okay, just have a seat for a second. I gotta ask you a couple more questions, Paul. I live right around the corner. I'm not damn close. Okay, so you're from here? Yeah, I live around the corner. Now, do you remember why you're in here tonight? Uh, this only in talks. Do you but you I remember? would rather see the judge and have this uh, be time served if I could stay to the morning. Well, okay, we, we were talking we were talking earlier about your court date, okay? You know what I mean? I, I don't get paid that much. I'm not a gigolo, you know? Okay. Now, do you remember what happened? What transcribed the brachi here? I told the people. I laugh. I joke. It is what it is. So you don't remember urinating on the table or anything like that? I didn't urinate on the table. I'd be different charge. Now, what? At this point in time, we got to finish fingerprinting you, okay? You going to cooperate while we do that? Hold up. Hold up. You remember Still. doing that? We going to play nice? I, I, need a, me or no? I need a yes or a no, sir. Are, are you going to follow instructions? Yes. Outstanding. Okay, give us one second. That's you say. Uh, ain't got nothing that we ain't got to call. Yes. Yeah. All right, come on, step out here for me, Paul. I'm going to tell you, Jeremy. Rick, step right over here for me. Okay, this says you're from Parrish, not from Sarasota. So why'd you tell me you're from Sarasota? Well, Phil, originally, I mean, you know, we didn't go to high school together, so. That, that would be true, because... Because uh, you would have had a broomstick out of your ass a long time ago. Outstanding. Now, do you think you were mistreated while you came in here? Is that why you started with all the, the racial slurs and such? Oh, the cracker thing. She didn't take it to, uh... You shouldn't take it to base. Well, you know, I got a name. You got a name. All right, step right over here. We're going to go over here, and we're going to sit you down with SPR right now. All right. You gotta answer your questions. You can't be rude oh, or yeah. anything like that. You understand that? Yeah. Have a seat right here for me, sir. All right, Sergeant. Hopefully, we can get him through this portion here. Okay. So he is bondable. He's bondable. He's got a bond of $120, but he still seems like he's a little bit intoxicated. All right. What, what's the problem? Stand up for me. Stand up. You're being rude. Okay. Strike that, Sergeant. He's not D. cooperating. He's being Give me a C, a bouncy C. a nice person. I'm playing the piano. Give me a C. All right. A bouncy C. Now, Paul, we tried hey, this. Hey, I've explained hey, to you. Hey, sit. Hey, sit. Hey. I want to get you someplace. Sit. I want to get you someplace you can lay down or to, you can bond out. You don't lay hands on anybody in this facility. You don't I talk don't trash. Hands, no, okay, stop. Now, listen. Stop. No. Let, let me no, explain no, 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 no. You've called me every right racial like name in the book. Like that, and she got these, right? And uh, I said, hey, all right. give me a D. You're just a rude yeah, individual, yeah. sir. You need to sober up. So you're going to be all spending right. the rest of the evening in here. Have a good night. Bye bye right. now. Thanks for your support. Well, sir, apparently he was making unwanted advances, so he's going to have to spend some more time in there and try and sober up a little bit more. Okay, he'll just have to learn how to cooperate. It'll take him a little while. He's done. He could sleep there another few hours. Portland has a slogan that is, keep Portland weird. And sometimes we see a lot of keep Portland weird here. We had a, an Occupy Portland happening over the summer, so we saw a few of those folks. We do get a lot of variety, some weird ones and some regular ones. There's a bad guy coming in. I see right over here. Look out, there's a bad guy. Hey, you got anything sharp in your Criminal pockets? Criminal trespass. You got anything sharp in your pockets? No, sir. Anything that's gonna pull me on my pat you down? No. What'd you guys bring him on today? Criminal trespass, he was at the mall, uh, and he'd been trespassed before, and so they arrested him. Okay. He touched my pee pee. Good looking nail polisher. You got some chips in it though. You gotta fix it up a little. 
Um, they took my fingernail polish yeah. uh, when they arrested me. Okay, why don't you take your one shoe there and just have a seat by your stuff. We'll bring the rest of your stuff to you. Track it down. What's up, bro? What's going on? What'd you get in for? I'm, I'm, they took me down for criminal trespassing. Can you believe that? After everything that I've ever done in my life, criminal trespassing is what they got me for. How about extortion? No, we don't have you for that one. How about blackmail? No, no blackmail. Criminal trespass. Here, put your stuff on. Hey. You just made me take it all off. Why would you make me take it off and then put it back on? This seems like a ridiculous position. No, so we can search it. Then you get it back. There is a chance that I am insane. And this is my insanity. OK, here we go. Come on. All right. You got to be good. Okay. You know what the difference between crazy and eccentric is? Well, what is it? Eccentric has money. Crazy's broke. <laughs> All right, you sit here with these fellas. I think we'll keep an eye on him, see what he does. If he can't maintain, we'll put him in a room. Okay. I'll call you. Okay. Right. You want to see me do a headstand? Oh, don't do a headstand, John. I can do it. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but um, I'm having a panic attack. You are? Yes. How about you sit down and do some deep breathing? That doesn't work. You want a paper bag? Um, that doesn't work either. I can do a headstand, though. A headstand will work. No, I think you would have more panic if you ended up in an ISO cell, and that's what will happen if you do a headstand, so please don't. It will encourage more panic. <laughs> I believe it would, so please don't put yourself in that situation. Just take a seat, and I'll tell the nurse, okay? Um, I can't take a seat because that's exactly what you can't do. I notice he does his, moves his hands around a lot. Are you okay, John? I thought maybe he was cold. I stopped this. Okay. Is the pacing helping? As long as he's not hurting anything, I don't mind if he paces, but if it gets disruptive, we'll have to reel him in a little. Hey, John, let me just ask you this. Going around the whole place is just a little disruptive. Can you maybe stay back along this wall here, back and forth? Deal. All right, thanks. I think we can get like a different channel on. Even though I won't pay for cable, I can come to jail and watch cable. <laughs> All right, John, it's your turn to go, and oh, yes, there's two of them. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have to buy. I told him I'd buy him a beer if we got out at the same time. Did you come in with money? Can you make good on that? Let me see your wristband, please. Uh, I got a credit card. And it's working? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna go to a release? You know the way? Yes. All right. This ain't my first rodeo. Oh, when were you in the last time? 21 days on a site and release. Oh, okay. All right, you feeling better, John? Now that I'm released, yes. No pacing, no shaking? No, I'll, I'll still pace. You do that all the time? Uh-huh. Okay. Helps ease your anxiety? Yeah. They gave you some treatment? I ain't going. You're not gonna go? They tried to make me go to rehab, but I said no, no, no. Are you gonna get a pedicure now to match your uh, manicure? Need a little touch-up. Touch yeah. Every once in a while, if you're in jail, you may need to work on your nails. Yeah? So you guys became friends in jail? <laughs> just now. All right, so you're going to buy him a beer? Probably not just one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tuesday night, you go have a rowdy time. <laughs> Too much of everything is just enough. All right. All right. We'll try to stay out of here, stay out of trouble. All right. All right, you guys take care. Good night. Right. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Thanks for the meal. All right, you're welcome. When John came in, he was really agitated. He was a little bit disruptive in there. We kind of had to try to work with him to help him with his anxiety. But he, he calmed down, especially when he found out that he was getting out. I imagine we'll see him again, though. What are you in here for anyway? Very familiar. Is it your first time? Yeah. You smoke weed? Not so much. All right. For right now, go down this row. Have a seat on the end till the nurse calls you up. This way? Yes, all the way down to the end. 
Is that what she's in here for? Drug paraphernalia? No. Possession of heroin, same as him. They are here together then? Yeah. When I asked her, she said no. It's actually an illegally parked vehicle inside one of our parks. Small boat or marijuana. Brian, uh, about said he had a pipe. And then I asked everybody for their ID. Samantha gave me her passport. And inside the passport was a little package of black tar heroin. So, I searched the car. On hypos, medicine bottle, also filled with black tar heroin. And this is the little piece I was found inside her passport. Yeah. She had the small amount, and he actually had the medicine bottle. All right, thank you. Hi, Samantha. Hi. So what's going on? Nothing, I'm in jail. Because I thought it was just drug paraphernalia, like you told me, and they found heroin on you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had some in my passport that I didn't know about. For real, I didn't know about. And they opened it up and they found it. It was probably mine, but like I didn't know. I forgot about it. Right. Do you use heroin? Yeah. How old are you? 21. When did you start using heroin? When I was 18. Oh, wow. What took you to that? Uh, an ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I didn't know what it was. How often do you use it? Every day. Every day? Mm -hmm. So you shoot it up through your arms and stuff? Yeah. I want to quit. You want to quit? Yeah. Probably quit after this. <laughs> you think so? What makes you feel it's different now? Well, I mean, I've been planning on quitting for a while. I just haven't. All right. I'll be back to talk to you. How old are you, Brian? 23. 23? Okay, and how long have you been doing heroin? Six years. How did you get started on this? One of my friends, we were smoking weed one day, and then he was like, hey, you want to try this? And curiosity kept the cat. You wouldn't rather enjoy your life a different way? Yeah, I'm trying. Two, two days, and I gave up. You gave up in two days? All right, just wait here, and then I'll let you know, okay? Samantha! You know what you're being charged with, right? No. You're being charged Explain with me, possession of <laughs> controlled substance heroin, possession of a hypo device, possession of narcotics paraphernalia. And you also have the outstanding traffic warrant. Awesome. It wasn't even that much heroin. I don't even understand why it's a felony. It's heroin. It's not okay. marijuana, you know what I mean? So that's a felony. Have a seat. I'm going to call you in there, take your picture, and take these off, and then you can go through on the other side, OK? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, Samantha, your bail is $7,395, mm. okay? Even though you don't seem quite concerned, I do hope, you know, you do get off that. I mean, you find some type of motivation or something. No, I just know what I need to do to not look like this anymore, so. I'm going to walk them along. Come over here, Samantha. Right here, this quick left, put your back on the wall right here. Samantha, just put your back. All right, you're going to get called a few times like I told you. And then other than that, you just sit here and wait for your whole process. It's still going to be a while, OK? All right, Samantha, go ahead and have a seat towards the front. Wait till you're called up. Brian, have a seat towards the front. There's a slim chance that they might turn their lives around. And you know, there's that little hope. They're still young. College on a track scholarship, and uh, I knew I wanted to get into law enforcement. When you apply for law enforcement, especially in this area, you just do a blank in application. And so while doing that, I also applied to corrections, and this was the first place that called me back. Five years passed, and we're going on 13 now, and I'm still here. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. What's wrong with your foot? Oh, it's, it's asleep. It's asleep? It's asleep, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you place your hands on the counter, take a step backwards. It's been a while, man. It's been a while? What brings you to custody now? Me and my girlfriend. You and your girlfriend? Yeah. Is it going to be domestic? Domestic. Yeah. Nope. You know what that means? No. It means you got to stay in jail. <laughs> okay. What happened with you and your girlfriend? She bit me. I bit her back. Well, hmm. when I bit her back, there was a witness. And uh, I love my woman to death, but, you know, she bit me, I bit her back, you know? Okay, well, like, well, you know. One of those things, you know? And uh, I'm not, I've never had a D domestic violence ever, and... Well, you know, it's, you gotta kind of have to go back to those rules in preschool, you know? <laughs> no hitting, no biting, share your toys. Yes. 
And I've stayed out of trouble since 05, and uh, I used to be a... I'm a king crab fisherman up in Alaska, and I used to cause a lot of wreckage down here in Portland. Uh -huh. Drinking, druggage down here, and... Mm -hmm. uh, were, you, were you drinking today? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. You can kind of tell a little bit. Yeah. That's all right, though. You're a happy drunk, well, though. No, I need to be sober. Until you're bit. Yeah. And then it's a bite fight. Yeah. Need your fingerprints here. So where's your girlfriend now? I don't know. Don't know? Does she have the car? Yeah. So, all right, uh, well... Shouldn't be drinking. This, uh... Well, hey, well, just know that... You shouldn't bite people, even if they bite no. you first. Exactly. Like kindergarten. Yeah. I got kicked out of kindergarten for biting people, so yeah. don't do it. Yeah. All right, you're gonna have a seat right. right over here. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. He's telling you half the truth. Half the truth? Yeah. Wasn't a bite fight? It was. That's how it started. Nice. Yeah. So she bit him. She he bit, bit him. Her. Supposedly he bit her. Uh, left a mark. So that's why he's in here. Were there any bite marks on him? There was bite marks on her face. He bit her face. Where, like on the cheek or the yeah, chin? Cheek, chin. Cheek and chin? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's awesome. Pretty, pretty savage, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. She bit me over here. here. I'm gonna sure. take a picture of your cheek just for the report, because okay. that'll, that'll help you. You see it on there? When I could see it, I didn't see much of a bite. I'll take it anyway, yeah. so. I shouldn't have bit back. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold still. I'm not. Yeah. And why'd this all start? You know, I know it's, I, I'm into sobriety, right? And me and my girl decided to stop doing our program and go out and have some drinks and have fun. Exactly, because you're drinking. Exactly. But she was pretty wasted. I mean, I was the designated driver and, you know, and... Uh, you get to spend the night in jail. Yeah. And did they give any kind of order for you guys to stay apart at all? I don't know, yeah. You know, we live together. We're, we don't, we're not designed to drink alcohol like regular people. Cause yeah. Because things you... happen. It could be a lot worse. I mean, and you were, said you guys were drinking and driving a little bit, trying to pick a new place to go. I mean, you could have yeah. plowed through a family and... Exactly. I have stayed out of trouble and, and uh, you know, I'm 33 now and getting in trouble is like, what the hell happened here, you know? This has been a long time, man. Hopefully things will work out. Yeah, I gotta run, Jason. Best of luck, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Jason got in a little biting contest, so now he's gonna spend the night in jail with us. But you know, that's always good because that gives them some separation between the two of them and that way, you know, give them both a chance to cool down and take a little break. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. special uh, advantages to working down here is that while you work closely with your co-workers you actually develop a rapport and a bond with outside agencies and you find there's officers that come in regularly and they've helped us out in situations and we help them out in situations if something bad happens they know they can count on us and we know we can count on them Rodney was brought in uh, as intoxicated and combative prisoner Strong. All right, you, hold on. Yep. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna be cooperative? Yeah. You're not gonna fight? Nope. All right, okay. I know, I'm All right. Go ahead and secure your weapon, then you can park the gun. Watch his hand. Okay. What's your name? Don't worry about it. You wanna tell us your name? No. Okay. Relax, relax. Okay, I want you to take ready. a seat. No, no, you take a seat. Um, can I put my this somewhere while he can be safe? At least? Why are you looking at me as a criminal? I ain't a criminal. Ask your question, who's the real criminal? I'm sitting here as a slave. Hey, Robbie, who is that? You hear these guys any promise? I'm happy. OK. We're going to take you. You can lay down on bed. What for? Because you wanted to. What did I do wrong? <laughs> All right. I'm just asking what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Hey, that's my right, man. What did I do wrong? Hey, man, what did I do wrong? Ah, hey, that's portion of police. Tell me. That's my. You got to shut up. Portion of. Rodney, you need to relax. I'm tiny. 
You need to relax. No, I'm out. I'm press charges, but at least. Really? Because I'm gonna press charges on you for assaulting an officer. I'm about telling that. you to force my at least downwards. But you're not being a cooperative. Oh! What's wrong with you guys, man? I'm telling you guys. All right, man. Three, two, one. I'm putting charges right now. Oh! This is all bull, man. This is you guys, man. I'm telling you. Oh! Ah! Ah! That's a criminal felony charge! Felony charge, you got to kiss me! Well, we're backwards. Yeah, we're felony back. charge, you got to... Ah! No ah! Felony charges! What charges of what? What the f did I do wrong? You got looking at me, there's no challenge, charge! Charge! What the f did I do wrong, man? It's all right here, man. What did I do wrong? I didn't relax. Pressing charge at all! Step forward. Why are you doing that? That's all charge! And he's not going to step forward. So we're going to take him in. I don't want to okay. do any charges. What did I do wrong? I didn't lean forward. What did I do wrong? Mario, you got the. Oh, what? What am I looking at? Okay, let's go. He was like this, and I came to start searching, and his elbow was right here. So I said, one of his, I went, Poo, I felt some, so I pushed it right back in. Hey, Rodney, stop kicking the door. Back up. Stop kicking the door. I love America. I understand. What did I do wrong? Well, you're just drunk. No, I'm not drunk. What did they do America wrong? How come they're in jail? So why are you so angry? I'm not angry, I'm trying to... You're trying to what? Sounds like you got a lot of stuff going on. You need to try to lay down and go to sleep for a little bit, okay, man? We'll come back in and check on you here in a little bit, all right, Rodney? intoxicated and a combative prisoner. During the intake search, we took some precautions to uh, ensure the safety of the officers. And even with multiple officers around, it actually happened that one of our officers was elbowed in the face by Rodney. We'll give him an opportunity to sober up, and then we'll check on him in a little while and see if he'll cooperate with nurse checks and maybe get him out. But, but what if I do something, right? It looks like Rodney's finally fallen asleep, uh, which should give him an opportunity to get some of the effects of the alcohol through his system. We'll give him an opportunity to sleep for a little bit, and then a couple hours we'll have our nurses go and check him. As long as he cooperates with those nurse checks, we'll be able to get him out and get him through the booking process. There's just as many females as there are males coming into Sarasota County Jail. When they do come in, their crimes are just as volatile and just as dangerous. They can be just as combative as the men and actually more unpredictable than the men are. So the women are kind of hard to work with. I'm sorry, Miss Sharon. Are you drinking today? Yes. How much were you drinking? Just a few beers. Oh, I mean, a few we, beers. We went, we went to the bar and Turn paid on. for drinks. You, you smell of alcohol I know. a lot. And I paid for it too, man. I guess so. Can we get your belt? <laughs> All right, walk that way. All right, sir. Straight ahead. Your husband? My boyfriend. All right. We're going to keep them separate. Yeah, they're both being charged with misdemeanor battery. That's nice. Injured in any way? Huh? No injuries? No. Just try and ignore them. Have a seat over there on that stool. We all know you both love each other. So when you go on the other side, no yelling, no talking, all right? So what happened today? 
You were at the bar. And we left. And, but we paid for our drinks. And then they jumped Mike, and then I went to, like, save him. I mean, I, I wasn't going to let anyone, like, kick his ass for nothing. Because we paid for our drinks. We did. And then there's a fight at the bar. Five guys jumped on him. We were paying for it all along. How are you? Stay away from the bars. Drink at home. Go over there where it says M.A. Shower. So does your girlfriend usually come in to save you when you get yourself in situations like that? I didn't get myself in situation. I got jumped for no reason. What happened was they were at Madison's and he, uh, he tried to take a ball of Stoli and they caught him because he like stuck it between his legs. They took the bottle, so then he swung on the bartender and punched the bartender in the side of the head and then she came from behind and then punched the bartender in the back of the head. I didn't take that bottle of liquor. Yeah. I paid for my tap the whole night. So when you sat down, at your table, there's a ball of Stoli just sitting right under the table. You you know I pay for my tabs. I know you pay for your tab. I'm not saying you didn't pay your tab. I'm saying you try, I'm, you're not getting charged with trying to take a ball of Stoli. You're getting charged with uh, punching a bartender. I was on the ground. How did I punch a bartender? You know, I, I, I have a hard time believing you because initially you said you didn't do anything and it, nothing happened. I and then we found out that all this happened. I got tapped right, and thrown to the ground. Because you punched a bartender. Let's go ahead and put you on two computer intake right here. I right, have a couple questions to ask you. We paid for our drink. They didn't steal vodka and... No, they jumped Mike and I had to, like, protect him. Do you think he wanted your protection? Because, you know, manly things. I would do that for anybody. I'll do that for you. I'll do that oh, for anybody. Oh, thanks. You're not... No one's gonna hurt someone that I'm with. Straight back over there, have a seat on the metal stool. They jumped him. They were kicking his ass. He doesn't have a mark on him, so they were not kicking his ass too bad. Yeah, especially because I jumped on him. Because so it was all you. You saved the day. I always do. <laughs> well, the proof is the law, right? Because that's all it is. It's you not what you know. It's what you can prove, right? This is misdemeanor battery instead of felony battery, though. It's all right. It's all good. Come on, over here. I'll put her in holding. You can take him. All right. Go ahead and stand up, Mike. I'm disappointed in you, sir. That's her reaction, not mine, though. She your girlfriend? Yes, sir. So whose responsibility? She's not my responsibility. You know you've been here at least 10 times, right? At least 20. You should know the signs. 10. Come over here, face my computer. You know why I'm not happy, right? Yeah, I know. How am I ever going to get to clean pools if you guys keep coming back in here? Dude shouldn't have jumped me, man. Let's pretend that you're all innocent. Do you not know when somebody's being aggressive towards you? Yeah. Why didn't you walk away? I tried to walk away. You tried to walk away, both times. Dude tackled me. Tackled you. So if you saw something like that coming, you should have called us. That's what we get paid for. And instead, you're right back in here. You're going to go ahead, and you're going to have a seat over there, third, fourth row. All right, behave yourself while you're here, Michael. All right? Don't, don't be a problem here. Obviously, Michael's been here before. Him and his girlfriend ended up coming into jail tonight, but she's been cooperative. I'd like to see if we can't pull her out, get her out here. All right. Thank you, Just, hold, Michael, go sit down. Oh. Sit. What's going on, sir? We're going to bring you out here so you can use the phone and everything like that, OK? I don't want to have to discuss how to be an adult with you, all right? No, that's fine. I understand, okay. sir. I understand. You've had a chance to think about what's going on, so I was wondering, would you do anything different? I'm not into breaking the law. I don't do that, you know? Huh. I, I have four kids. I'm, I'm 50. I don't do that. It seems like you guys got each other's back, so you guys might become a stronger couple for this. So I wish you the best well, of luck. We've been a couple for six and a half years. I mean, it's not like, you know. You put up with him for six and a half years? Yes. You're braver than I am, ma'am. Hey, zombie, what do you mean by that, zombie? Go ahead and step out here. Have a seat on this front row, ma'am. All right, behave yourself. Michael and Gabrielle came in for the charge of battery. So they are going to be spending the evening in here together, which to me doesn't sound like a very romantic evening for a couple to have. Right up here, sir. 
Hey, I serve my country, no big deal. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. What branch were you in? <laughs> I'm in the army. You are right now? Yeah. I got drill tomorrow. So no, I don't think you do. I can't believe this. Seriously, I love seeing my friends die for you. And then I'm in this situation where I went to a movie and I was drunk. What's his charge? Harassment. Harassment. Okay, so you're gonna yeah. a little bit. We're gonna process yeah. yet. You'll be out about four or five hours as long as you're principally. <laughs> I can't okay, believe it. Your hands off. Okay. I you serve your goddamn country, so. All right, settle down. Pray for it. Paper here. in here is everything. Throw your paper. At the end of the Throw your paper in the garbage can and have a seat. And you need to sit quiet for us, okay? I can't believe this. Is there is it because I went to a movie? A call came out. It was a drunk guy fighting with security in the Lloyd Cinemas. So we just show up. They're already outside, and it's actually pretty calm when we get there, but. Him and three other witnesses said that uh, he was trying to beat up the, the security guard. Teacher! Teacher! Excuse me, teacher. I go to the bathroom. What is this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Is it okay if I'm called? That come with me, right? Oh, yeah. I just want to make it. You look like you're intelligent, man. You can follow the first direction. Take your shoes off. Have to go back. All right. Take your shoes off. All right. There's a restroom and have a seat. Holla! I can break this down. He was totally intoxicated, having trouble keeping quiet, very, uh, attention orientated, so I decided maybe put him into a side room, let him sober up for a little bit. It's good, because I was going to do it. I'm not going to have that. told you. What? What did I tell you? Please help me. What are you doing? Please. The key for you to get out of there is to sit there and be quiet. It's too much. No, it isn't. Please. to have done a 180. Yes, ma'am. You have to get through the entire process like everybody else. This this little tiny area is really... No, we'll get you through, but that, that four loco or whatever you drink, yeah. it messes with you big time. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get you through this process, and I don't want to hear anything from you. All right. Because you acted like a little kid. You want to do it now? Yes, ma'am. Right there. He finally calmed down and listened to the voice of reason, I guess. I think he just tried all the stops that He's tried in his life to get attention and to get what he wanted and realized it wasn't working here. That was a temper tantrum, and he has mom tattooed on his arm in bright red, and all the rest <laughs> of his tattoos are in black. So maybe his mother used to listen when he had negative behavior like that. I don't know, but it wasn't working for me. Oh, I'll 
was on my way home from work, man. I was cutting up yeah. talking on my cell phone. <laughs> yeah, I had a traffic ticket. Okay. No. Stylish. Do you do transporting yourself? Actually, I do, and then I got transported. What do you, uh, what do, you transport? What I do you transport? I transport people back and forth. Private residents who need transportation? Yeah, I'm head of security, but I just had a traffic ticket. Boy, that was embarrassing, huh? Kind of. <laughs> Worked out. Things happen, right? Yeah, I guess they do. Keep up with your payments. Can't yeah, mess around. Big brother gets it, gets it in the end. Yeah, I'll be fine. But man, it's, it's been years problem. since I've been to jail. So I'm just going to get up in here, eat some bologna sandwiches, drink some warm milk, and see what happens. <laughs> OK, man. All right, good luck. Thank you. Good All right, luck. Thanks. Let's do it. That was an interesting pickup. Guy coming in in uniform. What's the story behind him? Driving down the street, talking on his cell phone. Since that new law came into effect in October, so I yep, yep, figured yep. I'd have a little chat with him. When I ran his uh, driver's license, came back with eight outstanding traffic warrants that he hasn't taken care of. Eight outstanding and interesting. He's the head of a transportation company who does private transportation, and there he is breaking all the rules. And most of his warrants are for driving without valid license, too, so I think wow. five out of the eight. Another interesting Las Vegas story. Lawrence! Come on in, sir. Are you finished with that? No, it's some cookies in here, man. I'm not going to eat again. Hold on. All right. Follow the hobbyists around here. So, Lawrence, you, you are the manager of a transportation company. I was. <laughs> and you're driving down the road, talking on a cell phone, and then you have a bevy of traffic violations that are deep into the system. Yeah, traffic ticket I didn't Yes, pay. yes. So you think there's going to be a problem with you being employed with this agency? Uh, I don't know. How, many, I mean, how long have you been with them? For a while, I'm sure. But still, going to jail never looks good, right? I think it'll be fine. Though. Let's check his charges. Look at that, it's a two-pager even. All traffic. You have, you have set it up well. Oh, yeah. I'm a criminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a thug. Yeah, this is this is like a month's salary here. Oh, man. <laughs> well, for one good tip. Wow, that's too Thank much. You. I'm hoping somebody bails me out, but I don't think nobody likes me that much. So I might have to wait to see the so judge So love could be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> nobody really likes me. OK. Yeah. I don't know why. you got a good personality. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like I like you. What are your plans when you leave here? here? Uh, I'm probably going to go cook. I'm going to go eat. Go hang out with my girlfriend. So the question is, does she love you enough to take care of that bail? <laughs> That's what we're going to find out, we'll right? We'll find out. <laughs> All right, man. Good luck, Lawrence. We'll All talk right. to you soon. Come on this way, sir. Lawrence has a good sense of humor. Seems like a good guy. Just got caught up in a little silliness that let his situation get out of control. I think he'll get through this relatively unscathed. I fear, though, his future employment could be a little questionable, but hopefully for him it will work out. Closing and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord.